Hello, I'm here with Keske Satomori, Director of Energy Markets and Security with the International Energy Agency, here at Asia Clean Energy Forum 2019. Keske comes here to talk about the work of IEA and how this can join together with the investments of ADB to really make us have more impact in the region. Keske, what do you think is the key value that you can bring from IEA to the work of ADB in Asia and the Pacific? First of all, uh, thank you for including the IEA in this uh, excellent uh, the, the event. In terms of the, uh, the cooperation going forward, we think that the, uh, the IEA has an advantage in terms of the, the energy markets and technology analysis. And of course, uh, UADB is strong in financing and uh, project capacities. Therefore, if we can work together, we can expect much synergies uh, out of this uh, collaboration and cooperation. Right. What do you think are some of the, the biggest challenges in Asia and the Pacific region? Well, first of all, uh, the, at this moment, in terms of the global energy landscape, Asia is where actions are taking place. I mean, a massive amount, you know, vast majority of energy demand growth will be coming uh, from this region. But also, uh, we are seeing a lot more fossil fuels uh, being used uh, in this region. So, both in terms of the uh, energy demand and also for the, uh, the CO2 emissions, this Asian uh, region has a very significant uh, presence in the global energy and environmental issues. And therefore, we think that uh, the, we should work hard to, uh, to accelerate the uh, clean energy transitions in this region, and that's why the IEA is working on the Clean Energy uh, Transition Program, trying to support the emerging economies in Asia uh, in accelerating the uh, clean energy transitions. Can you give me, say, two examples of technologies that are um, progressing as we would hope to, to make this energy transition, and two technologies where you have some big concerns? Well, first of all, uh, everybody agrees that uh, renewable, uh, the variable renewables like uh, wind and solar, mm -hmm. they are making uh, rapid uh, growth in all regions around the world, and uh, that includes Asia. So uh, we are seeing a massive amount of uh, the additional uh, solar PVs and uh, wind capacities in Asia region, and that's supported by the policy support, but also the rapidly uh, declining costs. Uh, for these technologies. So we think that the, uh, we should uh, the support those growth in the renewable uh, the technologies. On the other hand, uh, the technologies clean uh, the decarbonization technologies like the CCUS. Mm. Uh, we need to see that to happen as well, but uh, the, that's one of the areas that is uh, far off track uh, the, with the uh, sustainable uh, the energy development path. So I think that the, we, we are trying to increase some momentum. And also what's interesting, uh, the new technology area is the hydrogen. Yeah. The IEA just released the uh, new hydrogen report at the G20 Energy Ministerial Meeting. And uh, I understand that the many Asian countries like Japan, Korea, China or other countries, uh, they are very much interested in this uh, potential new technologies in this region. And also in terms of this Asia Pacific region, a country like Australia or the United States, they're also uh, very much interested in, this, in the potential of this uh, new hydro hydrogen technologies. So we think that the, that's also an area that uh, we would like to work, uh, continue working on. So I want to ask you one question that's a little different. Um, this year's theme of ASEF uh, 2019 is partnering for impact. What does that mean to an organization like the IEA? Well, uh, of course, uh, there are many partnerships, uh, very important, uh, for achieving the uh, clean energy transition, but also for ensuring the energy security. The IEA was created as the energy security organizations, and our fundamental belief is that uh, the security lies in solidarity. I mean, uh, close cooperation among the uh, member countries, but these days, uh, not only the member countries, but also with the uh, non major non-members. So, so we, as an international organization, uh, has always placed high priority in the cooperation partnership. 
But uh, in that respect, uh, we see more opportunities in partnership in, uh, with the, in, in this Asian region. So uh, we would like to uh, work more and uh, enhance our partnership with the institution like the ADP.